Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Zagatardi 2744 here today to show you the new changes as well as upgrades in iOS 5.1. Do keep in mind the decimal upgrades for iOS devices are not anything too special, but this one has some stuff worth noting. Let's start things off with a little bit of the more noticeable features that came around with the iOS 5.1. First thing is more immediate access to the camera application within the lock screen here. Instead of having to double click that home button and then click the icon and wait for the application to boot up, all you simply have to do is swipe up and that icon is always going to be there. Let's move along to the amazing fact that my AT&T iPhone 4S now has 4G. Yay! Nope, not exactly. This isn't really false advertising either. Lots of people are saying that this is a complete lie. It's just a cover up for the marketing. Technically it is because now it's giving AT&T the privilege to go out and say we're the only iPhone that is running 4G and we're also having the fastest network, which the fastest network park is also technically true. Uh, but this isn't false advertising. Like I said, by definition, the ITU, which is the International Telecommunications Union, said that HSPA+, Plus, which is under AT&T's network, can be labeled as 4G. This is running HSPA+. Plus. Yes, it is to make the iPhone look good on AT&T, but it is technically able to be defined as 4G uh, because it is faster than what Sprint offer and Verizon offer. We also are going to have face detection here on the iPhone 4S, iPad 2, and iPod Touch 4th generation. Uh, speaking of the iPad 2 camera, we also have very nice new user interface for the iPad 2. You're going to be able to turn off and on that grid, which is something nice if you guys actually use that. Also, new button placements for the capture, uh, which is something I really enjoy because you won't have to take your hand off the uh, device and switch around like many of you guys do in landscape mode whenever you're taking pictures. The button is in a more user-friendly place, which is something I really, really like about the iOS 5.1 iPad 2 update. Also, when you're in vertical mode, it is going to have that different uh, capture button placement, which is handy. What language do you speak? I speak English, French, and German so far. Now technically Siri just lied because now they speak Japanese in iOS 5.1 which is something kind of new. Uh, good for all you guys who do speak Japanese. Other updates in iOS 5.1 include Genius Mixes and Genius Playlists for the iTunes Match subscribers. Unfortunately I can't show you that because I'm not an iTunes Match subscriber. Um, also a better optimized sound and display for viewing photos on the iOS 5.1 iPad 2 and obviously the iPad when it comes out. Uh, 30 second playback speed button for the iPad during podcast podcast, battery fixes, as well as call bug fixes. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching this Zagatardi 2744. iOS 5.1 jailbreaks are right around the corner and I will have tutorials tutorials out for those when those do come out. Uh, a few of them are actually already out so I will be doing tutorials over those once I can get to those. And also feel free to go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Comment and thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. That's much appreciated. Visit the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well as check out a few more articles about iOS 5.1 below on my website. Thanks for watching once again. This is Zagatardi2744.